Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Without further ado, I introduce to you our Assistant Commissioner of Police, Mr. David Murfield. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you for attending. Um, we've introduced ourselves, as uh, Dwayne has said, Assistant Commissioner David Murfield. Uh, I sit here only three weeks um, since I addressed you following the, the sad events of Friday the 4th of February uh, over in Somerset. Once again, it's my sad duty to address you following the tragic events of, of last night. A young Bermudian man has lost his life. Another example of premeditated murder. A callous and cowardly attack that, that has left the family grieving for their son. The sympathies of the Bermuda Police Service uh, go out to his family and his friends. Uh, following uh, this short address, I'll pass over to um, Detective Chief Inspector Pedro, who's going to address you uh, on what we know so far, and also make an appeal for witnesses. Can I just add that I know that at times like this, reassuring messages can be of no comfort to the communities and the families and friends of those that have uh, either lost loved ones or loved ones have, have fell victim to crime. However, the Bermuda Police Service remains resolute to catch and convict not only those responsible for last night's murder, but to catch and convict all those responsible for shootings that have left families grieving and victims seriously injured. We will not stop until we fill our courts with those offenders. I'm always reassured that witnesses to these events will come forward and we regularly receive information from communities following these events. Last night's incident is no exception. We cannot do our job, I'll overemphasize that, we cannot do our job without the support of the communities. Information is our lifeblood. It is our task to turn that information into evidence and present people before the courts which we do regularly, as you already know. Mr. Pedro will now share with you some of the progress we have already made on this case and outline the events that occurred last night. Thank you. Thank you and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I too would like to offer my sincere condolences to the family and friends of, uh, of the victim in this matter, who I can confirm is 26-year-old Mr. Jamico Lashore. Uh, just taking you through the, uh, the sequence of events as they've happened thus far. Uh, at about 8.30 last night, Tuesday the 1st of March, uh, police officers responded to 911 reports of a person having been shot at number 9 Boundary Crescent in Devonshire Parish. Uh, Mr. Lashour uh, was uh, taken to King Edward Memorial Hospital by ambulance where he subsequently succumbed to his injuries. Mr. Lashore leave, leaves behind a girlfriend who is uh, pregnant and due to give birth in the coming days and numerous other uh, members of his family and friends. A complement of detectives from the Serious Crime Unit is investigating this and we are treating it as a case of premeditated murder as Mr. Murfield already alluded to. Forensic uh, crime scene examiners and detectives have been at the scene uh, overnight and again today gathering evidence from the scene and speaking with witnesses. Uh, I can confirm that three males are in custody on suspicion of murder uh, and following arrest operations that we conducted overnight uh, across the island. Uh, one male is aged 24 and the others are aged 20 uh, each. The inquiry team is anxious to speak with anyone in the Boundary Crescent and Hermitage Road area that may have seen a person or persons on a motorcycle or, or and or on foot in these areas between 8 p.m. and 8.35 p.m. last night. I can provide uh, a description of one suspect who is believed to have been wearing a hooded top with a darker colored jacket, light colored trousers or jeans, and light colored shoes or sneakers. Uh, these persons uh, are also believed to have been traveling on a scooter, which we are anxious to track as well. Uh, as, as always, the Serious Crime Unit can be contacted on the main police number 295-00101 or on the confidential and independent Crime Stoppers number, which is 800 tips. Thank you. Questions? Yes. 
Chief Inspector, we understand that this is gang related and that the victim may have had affiliations with uh, 42nd. Can you confirm? Yes, I can confirm that. Yes. Any other comments? Ladies and was is it possible to say whether the victim was shot inside or outside the house and whether that was his property? The, uh, he is associated with that property. Uh, he, doesn't, he does not live there uh, and he was shot outside the premises. Can you say how many shots were fired or if there was forensic I, I, evidence? We, we, don't, we, we won't disclose particular forensic evidence at this point. Uh, right. how, did, how, did you come, how did you get the three men in custody? For, uh, were, where were they arrested? Uh, the, the offenders were arrested at a residence in, in Denshire Parish, and that's, that's all I'll say about that at this time. Obviously, it's an active investigation, and I, I wouldn't wish to divulge how we how came by that information. As, well. as on many occasions before, um, the issues have taken place um, from a uh, scooter that's passing in areas. Is that the case in this? Um, uh, the, the, the suspect in this matter was on foot at the time of the, uh, of the incident, although we believe he may have had access to the scooter, which is why we're interested in, in speaking to members of the public that may have seen person, a person or persons in the area fitting the description I've already given. Just a question on timings. Were, were the suspects picked up last night before the sun rose or in the morning? Uh, we, we made arrests at a residence prior to, prior to sunrise. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> Thank you.